Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. I just felt terrible that those other kids had tutors and I couldn't get you on. I know why you did it, but why didn't you believe in me? Didn't you think I could do it on my own? No, of course I did. That's obviously a lie. I cheated for you. <laughs> Congratulations on going live the other day. How do you think it went? Thank you. Oh, I think I think it went great. I'm really I'm really happy about it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be honest. I was nervous, but especially with the live live caller aspect of it. Mm -hmm. But I think you know it couldn't have gone better. And I think that's a testament to one our amazing cast and also to our. Uh, awesome crew and the amount of work that was put in behind the scenes to make sure that this went flawlessly from the camera operators to the to the director to the assistant directors to the zoom technicians which we had to have for for this um but yeah i just i think it, it was it was great and it was i had so much fun doing it i mean from my point of view it seems like you had a flawless performance but from your point of view was there anything that you're like Ooh, I accidentally did this, or like what little things happened during the recording? Let me think. I feel like, well, uh, well, I, I feel like I, I, well, one on one of the performances, I, I, I have to, I had to change clothes in the in the middle of it, and the only really major thing, that, even though it's really not major, that I can think that went wrong was that the the I had like a little tent where I had to change and like the light went out in it so I like had to find a different place to change but really yeah I think I think it I think it went well well great would you do it again would you want the writers to schedule another live performance I mean I'm I'm always up for it I'm always I think it, I think it would be so fun and but yeah I I I think it just depends like so you know with the first live episode we had we, we had with the uh, with the um the primary and how and how we were getting live results and how i was saying them like which was really cool for me because i'm also interested in politics and all that so that was that was really cool for me and then this one we have obviously the main aspect of it was the live phone calls so i think mm -hmm. you know if we were to do another live episode we would have to think and i'm sure the writers would have no problem with this but we would have to think something that's like really fresh and make sure it's engaging um, to make sure that it's it stays something that viewers definitely want to tune into. Yeah, and I want to talk about that too because I love that you could be a Connor sweepstakes. It was such a fun way to honor your fans. What were your thoughts when the writers first brought the idea to you? Well, first I was like, "This is going to be crazy. How are we going to do this? Like, how are we going to have people on live?" But you know, it was, and then and then they explained it to me some more, and I was like wow, this is really cool. I think people are going to love this. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, it, it was just the, I was just such a smart idea. And it was also so fun for not only me, it was fun for the, the, the people who entered the contest because people were there, you know, there was like a group of people who were told they could be on, um, during the show. And then they net, they didn't, the people who were on, didn't actually know that they were going to be on until I said, hey, this is Mark. And so I think that that was really cool because it, it just added such a, this such fun element to it. And it was so much improv involved. So how did you prepare for that? Because anything could have happened. Exactly. So um, the, the all week during our rehearsals, uh, they would, we would, you know, test out the technology and they would try to throw, they would try to do some crazy things to see how I would react. And it was like, and some, and we, did, we went through a lot of like worst case scenario lists. And um, so what are think, some of those? Well, so it's like, if someone does something bad, they have to like quickly bleep it out and I have to be like, oh, I guess they lost service. Let's try another one. So like <laughs> we have to, we had to definitely, people were ready to adapt if the situation went south, but I, I, we were so happy that all of the callers were awesome. And after, actually after the, um, after like during the show, I kept saying to people, oh my God, they're so nice. These people are so funny and nice because we had been just thinking about like 
what is the worst possible thing that they could do and when it all went smoothly I, I'll be honest I was extremely relieved was there any standout callers was there anyone who called in that you're like they were funny they were good yeah um I mean all of them were great uh, but there was this one guy I believe his name was Scott he he um it was the first caller on our Pacific show he was he was so funny he was like because so I asked him like I did with the other callers where are you from and he was like he told me where he's from I think he said Scottsdale Arizona um and he was like but you know that Mark and like everyone laughed so hard and it and like because like it was just so funny and you know th all these people didn't know that what the questions were going to be the and and I obviously had no idea what their answers were going to be so I think that that was really a moment where I was like oh this is awesome that's amazing all right moving forward what topics can we expect from the Connors this season especially for your character well I think you know as as we've always done the Connors will continue to to tackle real world issues that face families all around the country and I think that specifically for me um you know, Mark is starting a new school this year, uh, and you know that that's definitely going to be tough for him. And trying to make friends and and trying to succeed in school um, is will definitely be a challenge. I mean, any kid at any new school will face these issues, and I think um, also he he's he's dealing with Darlene and Ben and how their relationship is falling apart and how after he went through the divorce of Darlene and Dave and now he's going through another after becoming so close with Ben he's going through another like another breakup um and I think you know it, it because he Mark has such a strong relationship with Ben and that will conflict with Darlene and I think that that's something that the viewers can definitely look out for and I know I'll be looking forward to sh doing that Hi, my name is Ames McNamara. I play Mark on The Connors, and you've just been buzzed.